In this video, you'll learn how to save radio station presets, adjust sound settings, search by channel name, and so much more. Hello, my name is Garrett, and I'm the Automotive Guru. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here, and you're interested in learning more on how your Mercedes works, consider subscribing. Getting started with the multimedia screen, we are first going to select radio. Once we have done this, we'll find at the top Sirius XM, FM, and AM, and we select those to actually change between them. So AM, FM, and Sirius XM. If we want to adjust the radio stations, we can grab from right to left or left to right to select radio stations. You can utilize the touchpad down below to go, say, right or left. You can also use the touch control system that's found on the right side of the steering wheel to go left and right as well. Or we can push this button right here to go from the right and push this button to go to the left. Now, once we've landed on a desired station, to save that station, we utilize these numbers down at the bottom. So we simply press on say one and it will save that preset to number one. If we wanna replace the radio station, we can find a new station that we like. Wait a second for the preset menu to reappear. And once it does that, we will push and hold on say number one until we see the options menu. And now we can move it delete it, replace the radio station, or delete from Smart Favorites. So we're going to replace radio station. And now you can see number one is now chill. If we want to say add another station, we can land on that station, press where it says two, and now we have the next station. And you can continue to go through the presets like so. And it will eventually round robin back to number one. Down below is where we have search for a radio station, channel lists and categories, pause and play music, timeline on where you're at with the music, and then settings. Now down below here, we will select station. And once we do this, we can search by channel number or station name. So we'll do it by station name and we'll put in chill. And as we type that in on the right, you'll see chill appear, number 53, and we'll click it. And now we're listening to chill. If you are more accustomed to searching by channel list that goes from top to bottom, you can select this icon right here and go up and down through the channels. You can also select category, and this will allow you for all channels, pop channels, rock channels, and so much more. Featured favorites, these are sing-alongs, music discoveries, relaxed music, so on. Tune mix list, you create your own tune mix list based on different channels that you like. And then emergency warnings, if any. We'll click the back button to go back to the radio. Of course, we talked about you can pause the radio and play the radio in certain circumstances. If we press this button, it gives us a timeline instead of the preset menu. And then on the bottom right, you have settings. So we'll go through the Burmester system, so we'll click right there. You have the equalizer, as we see here, for adjusting bass, mids, and treble. And we select the up arrow and down arrow to adjust those. Balance and fader is found right here, and we can grab this little white dot and move it around. We'll place it right back in the middle, Sound focus, this allows us to adjust the different areas where the sound is actually going to go. Similar to balance and fader, but a little bit more of a Burmester optimized type situation. We'll click all seats, and then we can actually go front seats, rear seats, or all seats. Sound profile is located here where you can do pure sound or surround sound. We'll go down to the last bottom one, we have volume, automatic volume adjustment. So this will automatically adjust the volume based on different circumstances when you're driving, or things that happen, say phone calls and so on. Now we will select alerts, and we can set an alert by clicking on it, but we can do things such as sports alerts, artist alerts, song alerts, traffic and weather, and we'll go to sports alerts, click the add button here. You can go by a different type of sport, and then when you find your team, you can select it, and now you'll have an alert when that team has basically come up. So if there's something going on, it'll pop up an alert for you. Now, last but not least is in the general menu, we can go to change station in background. And what this basically does is when you press this touchpad in the center console right here, once in release, as you can see down below, it will give you a channel station list and you can go back and forth between the channels or you can select station presets. And when you select that button, it will go to the presets that you already have. Thanks for watching the end. If you found this video informative, click that like button, comment down below with any questions, and of course, subscribe to be notified when future videos like this are released.